What's up my fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because I am finally doing a BH cosmetics video. I haven't done one in a while. I don't know why. Um, I'm sorry. I love BH still. I am so excited to show you the palettes that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to feature two different palettes. I am obsessed with the look and how it turned out, especially now that it's like the end of the video and I already filmed. The products worked so bomb. I am so excited. I have basically 90% of freaking BH on my face except my foundation which I use a cheap foundation which is a six dollar foundation and then besides my Laura Mercier under eye set everything else was BH cosmetics like obsessed with everything so I want to wear this for Valentine's Day I think it looks so good so before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe if you have not already become a part of the fine apple tribe also I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and my vlog channel is what would Lizzie vlog I was gonna say what would Lizzie do what would Lizzie vlog and I think that's about it all right my fine apples let's get into the try on and everything because all this BH stuff I am just obsessed with obsessed let me know down below if you guys like BH don't sleep on it Okay guys, so let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start with the HD Brow Pencil. Now this is the shade Brunette. This is what it looks like. I personally love this just because it is a dry pencil. So I prefer that just because I find that waxy pencils kind of just smear on me and I don't really care for the feeling of waxy pencils with my brow hairs. But this pencil is super easy to work with, blends out fast. Oh yeah, this one's not too warm. I just love the consistency of this pencil because it's not overly pigmented where you do one stroke and it's like, ooh, let me blend it out. So you can get a really nice natural looking brow or you can just like go for it. Okay, if my face looks like a little bit illuminated, it's because I put on my skincare because I didn't put any moisturizer under eye cream, so I put that on. So next I'm gonna be trying out a new brush set. Now I know they say to like wash your brushes and all that. I'm gonna tell you right away, I never do that. I just immediately use them. I don't know if that's bad or not, but I'm just being very honest. Love how they look. Like they don't feel cheap. They've really upgraded their brushes and their barrels. Um, yeah, before they used to feel super, super cheap and now they don't. So there's like a whole good variety. Uh, I'm just gonna carve out my eyebrows and I'm gonna bring back an oldie but goodie. I used to talk about this concealer a lot and I haven't used it in a while just because, you know, you try out so many different things, but I'm gonna be using the Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I think it is really good. This is in the shade 106. One thing that I don't like is you can't really switch out your cap, say like one drops and you kind of just put it on. This one is 106 and it's on the actual cap. They don't have like the shade on the packaging, so I don't know why. So I'm gonna to try to use this liner brush just to kind of define my brows and clean them up. This is the one I really wanted to try. This one is the Zodiac, but this one is the Love Signs. Um, I absolutely love the first one. It is so good. It's like one of my favorite. Like if I were to recommend a BH palette, it would be the Zodiac palette. And I'm not one to love huge ones, but the pigmentation and the quality of them is amazing. There's shimmers all around and then the mattes are all on the inside and then they always put a highlight shade right in the center. Look at that, that looks so pretty. I didn't like one of their highlight palettes, so I was like, okay, they came out with a new one, so let's see if I'll like this one better. Look at that. I I swatched this one. I don't really remember doing that. Maybe I swatched it like once they sent it, and then I just never, you know, touched it again. I was just like, ooh, look at these, because I obviously swatched the ones that, you know, I gravitate towards. I just prepped my eyes with the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer in 1.5. Uh, just use your own favorite primer. I'm gonna be using as many BH brushes as I can, but just in case I might be dipping into my own. Like this one is just my favorite setting. This cream shade right here. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna do a light dust. Yeah, let's lightly sweep this. The first shade I'm gonna go into is this one right here. Sort of like, I always say like that diarrhea shade. Let's just sweep this through. I'm using this brush and I feel like this is a new addition because it's much longer and fluffier. I feel like this is a highlight brush. That's actually really pretty. No idea where I'm going with this look, but we shall we shall see. To this burgundy shade right here, and we're just gonna blow that into the crease right below. I barely dipped into the palette and look how much color is on my eye. It like literally took over my whole entire crease. <laughs> the blending brushes aren't necessarily like my favorite. I feel like in certain sets though, the blending brushes are a little bit better. Like the Pro Line, those ones are really good. And you can buy those brushes individually, which I actually prefer because sometimes you don't need like the whole entire set. And say like you like a certain brush and you're just like, damn, I just want like that certain one. Um, the Pro Line you can buy individually, so that's always good. Back into that mustard shade and just bring it right above. 
And then I'll probably blend back into that burgundy shade. Again, it is always a blending battle. I'm just bringing more of that burgundy shade just so I don't lose it and kind of deepen up the pigmentation. But I'm trying to stay away from, oh sorry, am I far away? Sorry, I'm trying to stay away from the mustard shade so I don't have to add that on again. Okay, sorry guys, I feel like you are so far away. Like I was over here like, all right, so now I'm gonna be blending. <laughs> sorry, so now you're like more up in my face. I wanna go into one of the pink shades. So there's Aries and Scorpio right here. I think I'm gonna go into Aries. Okay, a little bit of fallout on that one. Ooh, wow. This is really pretty. I think if you just lightly place your brush in, it's not as bad. All right, well, that looks really pretty. I definitely want to smoke it out. There's no, like, deep purples in this one. In the first Zodiac palette, they do have some deep purples, so I totally get using something different. I kind of want to place this shimmer right here, Taurus, and place that in the middle and move it on. So let's see what that looks like. A little bit of there. Oh, this one doesn't have that much fallout as the other one. For some reason, this pink shade has way more. I just want to see what it's going to look like. A little bit of transition when I smoke it out, just to add that. That looks really pretty. Yeah, this one had fallout for sure. I did place quite a bit of product and I didn't tap my brush. So that definitely could be it. So I went ahead and just took away my fallout. When it comes to that, like it doesn't really bother me just because there's ways to like avoid that and just like tapping off any excess and say like you're one where you love to wet your shadows, you're not gonna deal with that with shimmer shades, but I don't know. I, I think it's still okay. Like it doesn't really bother me because like I said, it's not the end of the world. Plus I am someone where I do my eyes first. It's just so much easier for me because if I do my face makeup, game over like I am ruining everything so glad I found it I've been saving this brush just because I really love it and this is the brush number five pointed crease this is how they come and I found it out of nowhere right now it just hit me I'm like I know where I put this brush and this is what it looks like these are the brushes you can buy individually so soft like I'm not knocking these brushes but this is a much better quality brush blending brush a little bit of fallout but if you slightly dip in you won't get any so now I'm just going to bring that to the outer portion of the eye and slowly build this up so I do not look like a raccoon. Yeah, this brush is so freaking bomb. Even the handle has like a NARS feel, like a soft velvet feel. I love that. We are pretty much done with the eye look, the main portion of it, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some mascara and some lashes. No liner today, I just want to add on the lash just because I find that I do eyeliner all the time for these types of looks, and um, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> I probably should have just done this after. I just added on some lashes. Next, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild foundation, but I wanted to see how this brush was going to work. Uh, it's just a flat top kabuki. I did Wet n Wild foundation in the shades Golden Beige and Caramel just to mix them up. I think these are my shades right now. Right now we'll find out but I have tried the BH cosmetics foundation it's okay I tried it again I'm like oh it's not really my fave so ooh, this brush is really good it's really soft I think I mixed my right my right concoction this brush is really nice I could totally see myself using this concealer I am in the shade 113 let me do like a little swatch for you right there 113 I'm just gonna place it with my own brush right now because I don't really have a concealer brush BH does have a sponge but it's it's not my favorite so that's why I'm not gonna use their sponge to blend out the concealer favorite sponge the Sigma 3d HD there's like multiple sides on it so I just love it uh, but yeah like I said I'm not the biggest fan of their foundation or their sponge the primer is okay um, it's just certain products I don't really like I mean I don't like everything from BH but I do like quite a bit there are some hits and misses but look how easy this blends out like look so I am going to use my Laura Mercier because that's just what I use and then I was looking at the brushes Look, there is like a tapered one that's like a highlight, but I'm gonna use this for underneath my eyes. I don't know what kind of brush this is because it is just so long. Look at it. It's so long. So I still, I'm very curious. I don't know. Very curious because look, that one said five. 
Just so you don't get confused, this one says number five on it, but then this one's also five from the professional line, and they are two completely different brushes, like full on. Highly recommend the professional one. This one, eh, it's not really my fave. Doesn't have that much of a point, and I wish it was just a little bit more dense for more control. I really gotta be careful, so I don't like poke my eye. Next, I'm gonna set my face with this brush. I really like it, it has a nice curve. It's almost very similar to a brand new Laura Mercier brush that just launched. And this is a Studio Pro Powder, 230 and 235. I don't know if I'm gonna have to mix them. Let me, yeah, that looks a little bit dark, 235. And I know 230 is gonna be too light right now. So I'm gonna have to kind of mix the powders together. I absolutely love this powder. I did a whole video like so many years ago when I started first falling in love with BH, like all over again. And I said, this is like a Mac Studio Fix dupe for sure. They lay on the skin. Oh, I like this brush because it kind of hugs, just like the Laura Mercier. They lay on the skin really nicely. So I'm just going to do like a mixture and then just set the whole outer portion of the face. But I do really love these powders. If you guys haven't tried them, I think they are a good purchase. How soft my skin looks. Look how flawless and smooth. It just looks so good. This is a really good powder. Okay, well I have two bronzers and I don't know what the shade is. Oh dang, I did kind of go ham on the powder, but it's okay. It's not that, it's not that bad. I don't even know if I should really be bronzing right now though. Golden Gal, right here. That honestly looks like my skin tone because I just went ham. And then let's see what the other shade is. The only thing I don't like is on the outside of the box, it doesn't say the shade. So I don't know why they would do that. And then I have bronze babe let's see how bronze is oh this one is much darker okay so i'm gonna try the lighter one but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go with the darker one i'm gonna use the same exact brush let's see because it might show up you never know sometimes products really surprise you uh yeah not gonna use that because it's starting to look gray let's go with this one this one is in a bronze babe oh yeah i am super bronze for this video <gasps> Oh no, what's that? Oh, what's that sticky? Something sticky got on my cheek. I don't know if this is my fate. Yeah, this is not my favorite brush for a bronzer. Hold on. We're having we're having complications here. I'm gonna use the powder brush to blend this out. We're gonna fix it. And we're probably gonna have to bake underneath the cheek because this got all sorts of crazy. We're okay, we will fix it. I'm gonna go back into the bronzer using a duo fiber brush. I'm just going to blend this out and this dual fiber is from Sigma so it is a high-end brush but it is very very worth it okay I'm looking all sorts of two bronze right now but it's okay I can bring some down on my on my chest too <laughs> kind of correct it with some translucent powder and it's just like be gone because I do not need your gray patch or patchiness in my life be gone because sometimes my bronzer does get like blotchy or weird whenever I try out new ones and sometimes you just need it and I feel like I added on too much powder foundation because I was like you guys it's so good like oh my gosh you have to try it it's silky and I just I got really heavy-handed today apologies it was going so well I feel like I gotta just bake everywhere else now because <laughs> I just have way too much too much bronziness going on it's just not matching me so let's yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I did have a contour brush which I could have used. I just saw this, sorry, because I keep just looking all over the place and there's products all over. So I'm just gonna use this just to kind of sweep away. See how it helped just highlight this area? I should have maybe baked this one a little bit longer, but it's okay. I busted out my nude rose palette, which I love. This is a brand new one though. And I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use this um, pinky blush right here. Just very, very little, just to give myself some, some sort of color. Yeah, that's perfect, not too much. Okay, that looks really nice. I do love their blush palette. One of my favorite ones, the nude one. Oh, it's like all my favorite shades. Highly recommend it. I've shown that like so many times though in a video before, so I'm pretty sure like if you guys have been following my channel, like those old videos, you would have seen that I loved that one. Okay, so next let's go into this highlighting palette. I already know what shade I want to use. I mean, there are some pinky shades. 
but mm, I'm not really a fan of like doing a pinky eye and then like a pinky highlight. You can try the pink one though. Let's actually do a swatch before we ruin our look. How about we do that? Oh, top notch doesn't even look pink to me. Once it goes on, it looks like a white yellow. What the heck? Okay, let's try one of the other ones. Oh wow, they are not even swatching like how they look in the palette. Okay, so this one is top notch. It looks like a light pink and it turned into a white yellow gold. Then I just swatched this one and that one looks like a green. I'm glad I swatched it. Okay, let's try this super pink one. Okay, this actually looks pink. It's more like opal lilac. Wow, these look so different. Okay, now let's try this peachy one that I already swatched before. Okay, yeah, this one is true to color. Wow, those are intense, but almost basically like the same shade. They all look pretty similar though. Not exactly my fave for, let's try this peachy one. I'm, I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use very little. Okay, yeah, that goes. Okay, yes, this is going. It's not really melting into the skin. I mean, it looks like a beautiful glow, but I know how to fix that. So let's do another tip. So we're gonna take a sponge, we're gonna spray some Max Fix Plus, or you can just use our setting spray. I just sprayed the bottom. I kinda don't, I don't want it too wet, but just wet enough, and you kinda just go over it, and it melts into the skin. See, there you go. Now it doesn't look as chalky, and it's melting more into the skin. So if you ever have a highlight that is just, it's not looking good on you, see how this one looks textured, it's not melting, and it looks like it's creating like just pores and just do that little trick and you could save your highlights. I mean, I think it's cool to have a palette like this and you didn't have to spend a lot of money, then that's cool. Because I know that there are some high-end palettes where you're still spending like 50, like 40 to 50 bucks for some shades that you don't use as often. Get a more affordable palette and not feel guilty about buying it because I mean, you're getting your money's worth because it's not that expensive. Okay, so now you guys know I added some mascara because I was like, why do I look kind of weird or naked? I felt like something was off. I added some mascara at the bottom of my lashes. I wanna go into this highlight right here and I wanna see what it looks like on my inner corner. Because I always like a bright inner corner, especially if I don't do eyeliner. I don't know, I feel like this just adds like the final touch where it's like, you do not really need eyeliner with this look because all the shadow is speaking for itself. <laughs> a little bit to the tip of the nose. I don't know, I've been into this. I know some people aren't, but there we go. Okay, so next onto lips. I totally forgot I busted these out and these are the Studio Pro Lashes. These look beautiful. They look like your typical Demi Wispy, but I love fluttery, fluttery ones like this. Okay, so next I'm gonna line my lips, which I never do, but I wanted to try this out. This is the lip liner, in, and it's a waterproof lip liner in nude. So I'm just gonna line my lips. Really nice and creamy too. I've never tried this out. This is the Color Lock Long Lasting Matte Lipstick. Oh, this might be light. Ew, that might be very light. Let's just try. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying. Mm, yeah, not really. Let's go find another one. I couldn't really find a lip color that I liked and I will say that nude color was pretty dark for it being nude. So I'm just gonna go back into coconut because I don't know, this is just like my favorite. This is the Lux Lacquer. I need to pick up another one. I thought I ordered one though, my last order. That's when you know you love a product though when it's like almost gone because I love so many lip colors. This one is coconut, beautiful shade, highly recommend it if you guys are gonna make an order. All right guys, well that is it. What do you guys think about my final look? I absolutely freaking love it. Like I think it looks so good. Despite some little mishaps and me correcting things and all of that, I think everything went so well. I mean, I love the way this looks. Look, all affordable products, I am obsessed. Like do not sleep on BH. Look at the look I was able to create. I still feel like people are hesitant on it. I don't know why. Like I feel like people are more intrigued to try Morphe over BH and I don't understand it. Maybe it's just because lots of people talk about Morphe all the time, but BH is just as good and I think if not better in certain ways. I'm so happy that they're carrying an Ulta, but they don't have every single product and the website has way more discounts and you can do cash back 
and it's just overall a better deal and everything when you order through the website so yeah all right guys well that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys ever recreate any of my looks i would love to see them just dm me i love you guys so much thank you guys for being amazing i will see you guys in my next video i upload every tuesday and thursday and my vlog channel is what would lizzie vlog love you fine apples here we go it's all about you it's all about me it's all about what we do making art you and me trying to find something to believe